I want to thank the people who got me these brushes because I'm using them right now for this eggplant recipe. I've made this recipe before, but I just wanted to show you how they're useful because I'm using them to brush the cooked eggplant. So thank you, thank you. I'm using the brushes. I'm using one of them. Yeah, you gave me several and this is working great. So yeah, thank you. And now, now I'm going to throw some yogurt in here and brush the yogurt. I'm actually using more yogurt than the recipe says, but that's because I, I mean more tofu. But that's because I think it's, I want to, because I, I got a whole bunch of you, because I actually love this sauce. <laughs> this is a Nasu Dengaku sauce, and yeah, this, these brushes are coming in really handy, yeah. Use up all this sauce here. Yeah, the oven's already preheated, it's at the highest temperature, that's what you do. You know what? I think I'm going to throw in some more yogurt. I mean, some more tofu, I mean. <laughs> Why? Who says I got to follow the recipe slavishly, right? <laughs> it's going to be delicious. Yeah. Flavor yogurt. <laughs> I'm a little short on eggplant, so the recipe actually calls for three eggplants, so I've made enough sauce for one and a half eggplants. <laughs> Use it all up on yogurt. I'm uh, not yogurt, <laughs> tofu. <laughs> so let me just go ahead and finish using the bread. I just wanted to show you show you that I'm using that that brush you bought me. Thank you. Well, here's how it came out. I've made this before. This is eggplant uh, dish, Japanese eggplant dish. Uh, so that brush really helped me because it was this was pretty hot coming out of the oven, so I didn't want to use my fingers like I did last time. So thank you for the brush. So I just wanted to show you that brush came in really handy. This is a delicious dish. I've, I've already made this. But I'm sure my men are going to enjoy it. Everything I put on this little table gets beamed right to Church of Gale. They've got the technology to do that, so that's the reason why as soon as I'm done with anything, I'll lay it on the table. Today is Japanese day. I'm going to be making cabbage with shiitake mushrooms. Uh, the first thing I have to do right now is chop those, quarter those mushrooms, and then cut that cabbage into one and a half inch squares. There is the... Uh, mushroom water. I threw in a little bit of mushroom water in some of the sauce because the sauce was a little too thick because it was old miso and I had to thin it out. And I'm sure it didn't hurt it one bit. It's probably still going to be very good. So what I'm going to do now is uh, work on chopping up the mushrooms, the soaked mushrooms and the uh, cabbage. Used up all that for the eggplant dish so that's going in the trash. <laughs> and this is not a di I've already made the video about the eggplant dish, so I'm going to be showing you how to make simmered cabbage and shiitake mushrooms. And, um, okay. The uh, shiitake mushrooms need to be... Oh, man. I'm getting a lot of rip-off calls. Probably trying to sell me something. The timing on that is really bad, man. It's like, go away! I don't want to hear from you! <laughs> okay, so there's that. I wish they wouldn't call now. Man, it's ruining my video. Stubborn. Probably Laura McBride Jesuit. <laughs> okay. There. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, you obviously don't use the stems. <laughs> they're, they're tough. There's that. Okay, so let me finish, uh, with the mushrooms and then I'll work on the cabbage. Okay, there are the mushrooms. I just cut them up. And now I'm going to work on cutting up the cabbage into one and a half inch squares. This is a leftover cabbage which has done very well. Yeah, it's done very well because I wrapped it up in plastic.
fine one. And I, I, when I used it, I only used the outer leaves and I kept this intact so that makes it last longer. Okay. One and a half inch squares. I got, I'm obviously going to be using the whole thing, so I'll just go ahead and put it up like this. Yeah, it looks good. You say to use half a cabbage, this is a little, this will be about half a cabbage. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's about one and a half inch squares right there. Throw that out. Throw that out. Okay, I'll go ahead and uh, cut one and a half inch squares on this and then I'll proceed with the rest of the recipe. Okay, yeah. Let's see. I'll go like that. Like that. work. Approximately have one and a half inch squares. <laughs> yeah. There. Like I said, I don't have to I don't have to follow these recipes exactly, you know. That'll work. <laughs> so, we'll just go ahead and do that for the rest of the cabbage. The shiitake mushroom water. I need one and a fourth cup. What I'm going to do is just put one cup in here and then just get one fourth cup of regular water and that'll be one and a fourth cup. Because <laughs> it cooked long enough that it uh, kind of, you know, there, there's one and a fourth cup. And then I need to add in mirin and some soy sauce. Yeah, mirin. Mirin. And soy sauce. One third cup mirin, yeah. Yeah, last time I made this, I cut on the mirin and it didn't taste good, so we'll use the full amount. That'll be one third cup mirin, yep. Yeah. Third cup. It's not like a sweetener, you know. That'll work. Yeah. Let's kind of swish it around there. I used a little bit less than a third cup, but that, that that'll be enough in there. It'll taste good. <laughs> and um, and then I need so I think it's three and a half tablespoons of soy sauce. I will have this recipe underneath the, uh, there it is right there, three and a half tablespoons of soy sauce. I'll have the recipe underneath at my website, underneath the video. Japanese tend to like things salty, so I'm going to go a little short. <laughs> yeah, that's enough. <laughs> In fact, that might even be too salty. So, we'll find out. Well, that is a lot of cabbage there. Okay. Let me go ahead and add the sauce to the pan. And I'm going to simmer it. to simmer it under. Okay, we heat it up over moderate heat till it boils. Then I add the mushrooms. You can see it's boiling. Let's go ahead and add the mushrooms. And they're going to cook in there for about four to five minutes.
Yeah, they're still going. Maybe a couple more minutes, and then I'm going to throw in the cabbage, and then we cook the cabbage till it's done. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch this around. The recipe doesn't say to cover it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not, but... Um, let me just go ahead and um, get this all combined here and cooked. So we, we just cook this until the cabbage is done. I'm using a fork to kind of break the cabbage up. So uh, while I'm uh, cooking it, I probably should have done this before I threw it in there. <laughs> but kind of short on time today. That's all right, I'm doing it now. Yeah. It'll help the cabbage cook. got the news on. <laughs> oh my goodness, I need to turn it off. I forgot to turn the news off. <laughs> Watching Fox Mainstream News. That was Rand Paul commenting. Um, okay, let's just go ahead. And, uh... Okay, in about five more minutes of swishing it around like this and it'll be ready. And then I'll test it out. Actually, I've made this before and I know it's good. So... <laughs> But I'll test it out anyway. It's all Japanese today. <laughs> it's about ready here. Let's continue to cook until the cabbage is tender. Yeah, I'd say it looks about ready right there. So let me just go ahead and try it out. Okay. Not too salty. It's good. Mmm. I like it. It's perfect. Um it's good. This is Japanese. Let me try um Throwing in the, the eggplant, but I add, I threw in a little of the shiitake mushroom sauce. That's good. That's really good. Total Japanese. <laughs> yeah, this is good. Let's see if I can get. I need a spoon to eat this though. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It blends well with the cabbage. <laughs> I like it. Total Japanese food. Uh, the shiitake mushrooms and the eggplant just go to go together well. I'll have the recipe. Um, for both of them underneath this video. I've already made the eggplant though. Mmm, I like it. Good. Yeah, it's the whole